Ah, uh, that intro still as bombastic as I remember it. What's up, guys? The Trickster Authenticity here, bringing you back to Yakuza Zero. Now, this is a revival of a previous playthrough that I kind of destroyed since, well, let's be honest, that playthrough was flawed in its own way, and uh, even though it only had one part, I still think that, uh, well, at the time, my recording software was completely broken, and, uh, well, I couldn't get an end to do this anymore, so I decided to do this whole entire thing independently, back from scratch. So, I mean, that's why we have these things here, <laughs> but, uh, we don't, we don't need to, we need, we don't need to know that. The point, point is, we're going back to where, from. So, to recap, what? is Yakuza 0. Well, Yakuza 0 is part of the on is chronologically the first in a series of games d created by Se uh, Sega's mm, well I wouldn't say team yet because the team behind Yakuza wouldn't exactly be named until later on uh, later games onto the series, but it was me it was made by a team led by uh, Toshihiro Nagoshi, uh, wh which who was essentially the series found founder after what is essentially convincing Sega on a big bet in that um, paid off, and well, it made gangbusters. The original uh, localization called Ryuga Gotoku, or so known in literation as Like a Dragon, um, is basically what makes a kind of the series uh, stand upon. Because the original uh, title uh, was kind of, sort of, not misunderstood by um, localizers at the time, and that's why Yakuza stuck. Although the new series, although the new uh, seventh entry into the series will have that. Uh, Ryuga Gotoku's title come back as a different sort of thing. But, hey, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to do some Yakuza 0. And I'm glad to be back into this because, well, it's just the Adventures Kamurocho all over again. So, why not let's go back to the beginning. Back to where the Legend of the Dragon of Dojima began. And of course, let's do this on normal, because... Duh.
頼んでおいた仕事よ終わりました。ちょっと古いと俺。このままで行くか。そんなこと気にしないでいい。抜き出しだろうが金は金だからね。堂島組さんは仕事早くて助かるよ。はいこれ。約束の1割。ご苦労
Chapter 1 Bound by Oath And yeah, that was the entire intro. I'm pretty sure that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of minutes wasted already on the first shot, and we're not even into the entire meat of the story yet. When people ask uh, me on how like, how to describe Yakuza, I guess uh, when people ask on how to describe Yakuza, I personally would like to describe it as a JRPG version of GTA. It's not that you can do whatever you want, but given but given the context of how Japanese mafia, the yakuza work into the society, um or rather, well, the society of the modern times, you can't blame them for not being as um violent as as a uh, previously would state. Anywho, to get on with the voices, I guess. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> this is where Nishiki said he'd meet me. Guess I beat him here. 724106, huh? That's code for whatcha up to. I'm waiting for your slow ass to show up. May as well have a look around and see if I can find them. Find Nishikiyama. Now, the best thing about this game is that this entire city, this entire hub, so to speak, is essentially one that is kept building up over the course of the entire franchise. And I'm not joking. This place, this is not the first iteration of Kamurocho, and it will never be the last. Because this city constantly upgrades game after game. Game. And it's a fun- and I hear what most people are thinking. Aren't you going to be sick of sticking to one hub area every single time? Well, I mean, I guess that would be great. If you're someone whose attention span is a little bit, um... Disoriented. But, this game. This game is so interesting because Kamurocho City is a city that reflects all of Japan's aspects of its life, its culture, of what people, of how people lived back in those days. And given that this is uh, Japan during the booming uh, 80s, where, well, their economy hasn't exactly, pop uh, economy bubble hasn't exactly popped yet. You may forgive this uh, uh, thing for being exactly as extravagant looking as it is here. Here, compared to the Japan of later times. Now, now of course, you've got payphones to save your game. And I think I'm gonna save it right now, before we go on ahead. Alright, now let's get on... With it. Now, there's Dream Machine, which is basically a, a gotcha of sorts. That you can spend 100,000 yen that, uh, so, that, uh, so that you can... Uh, By the way, some of these may contain uh, familiar products, so... Uh, mm, I, I don't know if I can say that, but fuck it. Everything belongs to Japan. There we go. There's your disclaimer. Okay. There's your disclaimer. At least everything in-game is... Mm, nah. Whether it be... Anywho, we're here to go get Nishiki. And we're supposed to go right near the... Uh, right on this thing here, but... Oh! Run <clears throat> Running shakedowns on our turf? Somebody needs to set them straight before they try anything real stupid. And that, of course, is me. Uh, oh, by the way, this little thingy right here on the left side of the screen, 
that's my pager and it will send you un uh, unread messages to provide you a plot uh, provide you plot details on what to do ヤクザ社名のか、こいつ。バカ。やったったって。星も大して俺らも変わんねえ。そうでしたっぱだろ。お前ら。この町に来るのは初めてだ。え立ったらなんだよ。ここが Straight hooligans. Now, of course, this introduces you to the uh, combat style of Viku Zero. That being a beat em up system. So, there's a. Uh, okay, so let's get through this. Tag with rush combos. Okay, knock down with a finishing blow. Press Y during a X combo attack to perform a finishing blow that knocks the enemy down. Knockdown effects defending uh, numbered arms. X is pressed. Tried in a few ways. I mostly prefer using it like this. But of course, you could do it like this. Or you could do it like this. Oh, shit. There we go. Alright, so, the health gauge. The health, the, the yellow gates at the top gap indicates your health. I'd personally argue that it's orange, but okay. The game will end if the health part is fully depleted, so keep an eye on health at all times. If the gate flashes red, that means you're in very bad shape and should replenish your health immediately. Now, you can use a recovery item or eat something at an injury. You will need a lot of recovery items in this game, and thank God Yakuza Zero in this entry is very in in this entry in particular is very generous. Um, with what you get, so using a recover item is very, very extremely useful in this game, and in and in other, well, in other entries in the franchise, you will need a lot of recovery items. Trust me, and eating something in eatery will be your always go-to whenever you're down on your luck. Uh, yeah, you tried to punch me, but the game invincibility. Uh, press B near an enemy to grab them. If an enemy is guarding to block your attacks, grab them and attack to deal damage. Nope. 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 Mm. And nope. Ooh. Ooh, you want, you want to go? I'll throw you to here. Alright, teach this punks a lesson. Your training is not complete. It's time to work the smirks off your opponent's faces. If you can get if you get hit, you can strike back right away using an X, Y, or B. This is called a resolute counter. You can gain money by knocking down defeating enemies. Depending on how you do it, you might get a bonus too, so try a range of different moves. So this is how you gain cash. Which is a big deal in this entry, and I'll explain why later. Or if it did watch my first. With that, they're down for the count. Oh, I 
相変わらず容赦ねえな錦おめえいつまでたっても来ねえから待ち合わせすっぽかされたかと思ってたよ Akira Nishikiyama of the Dojima family. Gakuda. Ome ga nagana kone kara koyate jikan tsubu shita n janai ka. Hima tsubu shi ni sen katte. Otona shiku helsuri demo ike tero gaki ja arme shi. Kyo mi na sa. Ae kawarazu katai ne. Ma iu ya. Tori aizu nomi ni kouze. Kisabisa ni oru de tsukiae yo. Na? お前も様になってきたよなもう一発のヤクザだ今日の取り立てももう済ませたんだろまあなこれで風間のおやっさんも少し安心するかいつかなあいにく俺の取り柄は喧嘩の腕つきしたわけだお前みたいに器用じゃねえからな何言ってんだこんなバカみてえな時代だぜ楽しまなきゃ損だろう少し頭使えや風間のおやつさんが無所から出てくるのは年が明けてからだそれまでに俺も少しは器用になるなおジーズス The engine's limitations or rather certain limitations of my general hardware are showing itself <laughs> お前もたまには五十万のスーツでも着てみろよ。そうすりゃ世の中の見え方もきっと変わる。俺は服なんかどうでもいい。風間のおやつさんだっていつも不思議な服着てんだ。お前な、あの人は組の若頭だ。道島組のナンバーツーだぞ。あのレベルまで行けばそれでも通用するがな。極道商売にある程度、見えが必要なんだよ。お前が最近車買ってたのもその見えのためだなこのこじゃれたライターも俺んだそろそろ返せよ見え張りてんならケチケチすんなお前も本当は分かってんだろクソは車のエンブレムと着ている服のブランドそしてこの道島組のダイモンを見て素直に言うことを聞くヤクザは見え張ってなんぼだぜそんなもんさ、肩着のくせしてアコギな商売するやつに借りた金で遊びまくるバカ。この町の連中に人の内面なんて見抜けやしねえ。やつらにとっちゃ外見がすべてだ。ちっ、わかった、もういい。それより、飲みに行くんじゃなかったんだ。おうおう、そうだったな。よし、たまにはピンク通りにでも行くか。あの辺りにいい店があるんだ。No. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna chug a little, but that's fine. We're good. We's good. Uh, but you can already see the dynamic between these two. Kiryu, our badass, at least before his prime anyway, as the true badass Dragon of Dojima. Oh. Oh, 
あれは機械用で倍々にもなるでその手の情報をつかみね街で遊んでアンテナ張らねえとなこの街でしのぐってのはそういうことだかわいい女子大生がよりどりみどりと言われついてきたらバーバーばっかり5000円ポッキーのはずがぼったくられるこういうのも全部勉強だと思えばいいつだそう思わねえとやってられねえだろうなんだ今のはものの例えであって別に俺が実際に体験したってわけじゃないまあとにかく今日は俺のおごりだおめえもたまには楽しめいいな Yeah, but anywho, right, the dynamic between these two is that while、well, Nishiki is very, you know, sort of the charmer, the very smooth、uh, voice that、uh, charms the entire crowd, Kiryu's stoic, he's silent. He's the kind of badass, no holds barred, very,、um, very driven. Kind of person who doesn't need his、uh, voice to talk anything, he just does it, and that's why he becomes the badass sooner or later on. But that's a story for another time, okay? <clears throat> What's this? A fight? Looks like it. <clears throat> Come on, you're in the way. What's your, what's your problem, bro? You got a problem? We're in the middle of some important business. Hey, old man, put on those them. We're not done here. Oop. Who's an old man, you snot nosed little punk? Who's this snot? Whatever you said. God. Oh. And now you done it. Yeah? Come on, Grandpa. Take your best shot. <sighs> Screw it. They're completely wasted. It's not worth the trouble. Let's take a different road. <clears throat> no need. I've got a faster way to fix this. Huh? Yeah. I just need to sober them up a bit. With my fists. <sighs> Again? I can't tell if you're a sadist or a charity worker. What are you blabbing about? Stay out of this. Yeah, butt out, you butt. Alright, now let's go take out some drunks. The Irish way. Now, there is another integral feature of Gyakusa Zero, and that is the heat gauge. The three blue glowing bars in the top left are called the heat gauge. The heat gauge starts at the first bar, and as it attacks its enemies, The gauge screws up, sipping to the second, then third bar. At each level, your speed increases. Some moods use a certain level of heat, so once you're fighting, keep an eye on your health level. Use heat action to attack. Once the heat gauge shifts to the second and third bar, Kiryu's body begins to glow with a blue aura. This is called heat mode, and it sigla、uh, signals that you can use special heat actions. Try using heat actions while slipping up the junkards. Now, the best thing about, um, uh, Yak. Yeah, because the,、uh, the heat system here is that you have to keep fighting. You have to keep blocking and hitting them. Otherwise, you aren't going to get the best of Kiryu. And well, here it comes. See? The animations feel a little bit faster here. And especially when you use light. 
Heat actions! Training is now complete. That concludes the explanation of the heat gets special boost, but these two drunkards still need some sobriety beating them to them. If you take this fighting stance using RB, the movement will uh, and movement will center around the enemy in front of you. This is effective when you fun to focus attacks on your single enemy. This is your lock-on, essentially. And it can be either very helpful or well. Wait. And knock you out. And that's done. <laughs> what? Where am I? What's I doing here? Oh god, <laughs> I, I fucked up on voicing in. And who are you? Sounds like that sobered him up. Must be your delicate touch. I remember watching me videos at that bar. Then we got to talking about which idols we liked. Yeah, then some sm- then some smart ass started making fun of poor sweet Soko chan and then Ugh, my head's rabid. I can't remember past that. I think you two had enough for tonight. Go home. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, you okay, mister? Yeah. I'll walk you to the train. Take it slow. Ugh, thanks. Yeah, for Sorry for a kid your age. All's well that ends well. <laughs> Even these guys are all's well that ends well. That's at the bar. Yeah, that was a little bit of a late response. Okay, the completion list. Completing certain challenges will earn you CP completion points. You can view the pause menu on the completion list. Some listen. There, some are things that will probably happen on their own as you play the game, but others will require more deliberate deliberate effort. Exchange the CP. You can t visit temples or shrine to access the CP exchange menu, where you can spend CP to earn special blessings, ranging from being able to sprint for longer distances to earning more cash from fights. There are big helps to so take a look. Yeah. Now, now this system is very good because this completion list is essentially what you need to do, and I think that that would be ju uh, that would require a long time of off-screen grinding. So, I'll probably do that while I'm doing my off-screen grinding in the meantime. But, for now, I think this will be a good place to end off on talking about the completion list. Let's continue to follow. Mm, now, this is this one of the fun characters of Yakuza's hero coming in. <clears throat> what a waste! A damn shame, I say! Hmm? You got a punch like a 210 gorilla and you go wasting on drunks? What do you think that talent was meant for? All that rough fighting prowess! <clears throat> Look, I just hope a couple of guys work on some alcohol. That's all. Yes, that's the point. That's the problem. You want to talk alcohol? You're like taking one swig from a vintage bottle and tossing the rest. Hmm. Coming from the look of you, you Japanese mafia, yeah? Something like that. Yeah. Yes. Seems like you're pretty confident in the fight. A real dynamite boy. <laughs> you're calling me boy? <laughs> Don't get ruffled now, kid. Compared to me, you're practically a toddler. Hey, Garyu! What's the hold up, man? It's nothing. Be right there! No sense wasting time on this drunk. I should just go. Too much booze is bad for you, Gramps. Take care. Hey now, hold up. Wait, I got one piece of advice for you. 
And I've got a friend waiting for me. If you've got something to say, make it quick. Oh ho! Out for a night with your main dog! Me and the boys out used to really wreck it, back when I was your age. But if you spend all your money playing around, you'll never get stronger. You gotta invest in yourself. What? Like a gym membership? No. Nah, nah, nah. That's no better than spending on booze. I'm talking about inventing yourself. Literally. Literally? What's that even mean? Glad to ask, my boy. Here's a special lecture, just for you. Now, this is why money is so important in Yakuza 0. This is essentially your EXP system. Some, uh, where you spend money to get a hell of a lot better. There. And for now, since we can, uh, we can't afford anything past that, like, I mean, seriously, look at this. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, holy Christ. But, for now, we can just afford the Phoenix Spirit, which is a useful skill to gain stay early game when you're, when you're, you know, constantly being fucked around all the time. So, hey, let's invest on that. Just shove it, shove it down your core, your inner being, just let the heat aura burn off that money, and you will be better in no time. <clears throat> you keep pouring money into yourself and little, uh, with a little training, not telling yours would go in no time. So keep the women on wine and a budget, yeah? So, uh, I'm going to be sorry for you, dude, but... I think I'm going to be spending it on items mostly, so I think that'll be eh, a rough case. Uh, investing in myself, literally. Never thought of that. <laughs> Bet you're glad you stopped and listened now, huh? Yeah, I guess I am. Yo, Kiryu! I'm coming! Oh, that serious talk killed my buzz. Time for round two! You have a good night, my boy. <laughs> what a weird old man. What's his deal? That was weird, but yeah, yeah. Bomb walking. ひ <笑>よ。なんだいつ。現役女子大生ホステスのまどかちゃんとゆいちゃんだ。あ。ねえ、ポケベル鳴らしてるんだから電話してよ。今度いつお店来てくれるの? <笑>なんだよ。俺の言うこと疑ってる<笑> Thank 
いつの間にか大した顔じゃねえかよ錦鯉お前さ俺があの女たちにまんまと小遣いせびられたと思ったろけどそうじゃねえ女とつながっとくことが大事なんだいいいいか組の上にいる兄貴たちは基本的に女にモテないあの人たちは見るからにヤクザでございますって格好してるからなそれが何だだから兄貴たちと飲むときいろんな女連れてくとそれだけで小遣いくれるし俺の組での覚えもめでたくなるどうせ極道行くならどんな手使っても持ち上がらなきゃ意味がない違うかなるほどそうかもしんないなさあ店はここだ今夜はとことん付き合ってもらうからな確かに見えってのを大事にしてるおめえもこの世界でのし上がりたきゃ少しは見習えよ<笑>でもおめえはそういうタイプじゃねえってことかほらおやつさんの背中を追いかけてこの世界に入った孤児だった俺が拾ってあの人の人頼みさてめえの体張るくらいしか脳がねえ。God, I love the sound design. いや、もしかしたら、おめえは今のままでいいのかなおめえが下で頑張って、風間のおやつさんが出世すりゃ、おめえにも出世の目が出てくるかもしれない。そういうのし上がり方もあるさただおめえは風間のおやっさんの子じゃない堂島組の組員なんだおやっさんなんで俺らのことを風間組に入れてくれなかったんだろうなそれは堂島組の方が格は上だけどさよせよおやっさんに考えがあってのことだまあそうだな<笑>よし真面目な話はもうやめだカラオケでもしてパーッと騒ごうぜなあわ<笑>かった今日はとことん付き合うぜえ、now Yakuza introduces it。well。Yakuza zero for newcomers。introduces one of the。best few mechanics of the series。the side activities。specifically。our very first side activity is karaoke。now there are a ton。of things in。a ton of things that Yakuza gives life and it's the culture of Japan。and that。Culture is form of the various side activities that you can do. You get to do multiple things, ranging from, well, not only from crawling through bars, which is kind of a standard, really, through shit like this, shit like karaoke. And, well, it's a rhythm game, karaoke, but it is fun for many reasons, and I think I'll shut up for this section in particular. Just so that I can focus, not only I can focus, but also show you the great aspects of、uh, the side activities in Yakuza. 
Yeah. Like, if this doesn't hook you, nothing will. Yeah, we are in the controls. God damn it. God, I'm horrible at riffing games, but, yeah, ah, oh, man, I swear I'm not like this in El El karaoke, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm not a karaoke puzzle, damn it. なかったぜ。お前があんなにカラオケ好きだったとはよ。バカ。それはお前がハメ外そうとか言うから仕方なく付き合ってやっただけ。嘘つけ。その割にはノリノリだったじゃねえか。普段から隠れて練習してるんだ
昨夜11時ごろ、神室町の一角で発見された若い男性の変死体は激しい暴行を受けており、警視庁では殺人事件とみて付近を捜査中です。ただいま続報が入りました。若い男性の身元が判明したとのことです。死体で発見された男性は都内在住の会社員、栗原大志さん32歳。警視庁の調べでは栗原さんは金融業者数社から借金を抱えていたとみられ今後関係者から事情を聞く方針ですおい桐生うんカムロ町で殺したとよくある話だろうがいやお前夕べの取り立て相手のこと結構痛めつけたって言ってたがこちらだ栗原さんの死体が発見された現場ですここって俺が取り立てした場所だおいおいお前マジかいや死ぬまで殴ったわけじゃねえはずだこの場所はカムロ町で人がごった返すネオン街からわずかに裏道を入った先にありますビルとビルに囲まれて人目につきにくいかなりいびつな空間という印象を受けますが栗原さんの死体はこのわずかに残るさらしに倒れていたとのことですこのすぐ俺が取り立てたやつだおいお前本当に間違いねえのか、はあ、何やってんだよIn big fucking trouble. I've got to call Dojima Family HQ. There should be a payphone around here. And with that, I think we should end this right here, in particular. At least, 
Until we get to the payphone itself, because I still need to save. Duh. Better call the family office. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, I guess I better take a taxi to the Dojima family headquarters. And with that out of the way, I am completely done for this first episode. Anywho, thanks for w watching the entire video. If you like it, hey, leave a like down there, and please leave a co comment if you can. I'd really love to see how much I could improve this series as a whole, what with the new editing software. And with that, I will see you again in the next video, but till then, keep on shocking.